What's going on guys, Josh here and in this video I want to go through exactly what's happened with the whole iOS 14.5 update and how that's affected our ad accounts and also a couple top tips of mine that I've, I'm implementing right now and what you should be doing as well to protect your business during this crazy time. So if you guys are new here, my name is Josh and I'm a seven figure entrepreneur who loves all things productivity, e-commerce and personal finance. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video and let's get straight into it guys. So for those of you that aren't aware of what's happening between Facebook and Apple. Pretty much Apple has given their users the power to opt out of being tracked when using apps on their iOS devices. Now the reason why this is such a big deal for us as advertisers and us as e-commerce entrepreneurs is the fact that you know as people opt out of being tracked that means you know our pixel data starts to get diluted and you know the quality starts to drop. Our retargeting audiences start to get affected. Our custom audiences get started to get affected. Also our lookalikes start to get affected. Pretty much the whole advertising system that made Facebook so great prior to this iOS update is being affected, right? So I wanted to make this video and be very candid in showing you guys what's actually happened now that the update has been out for a little while, what I've seen in my ad account, and also what I would recommend you to do right now to kind of stabilize business performance, right? Because yes, environments change, but we as entrepreneurs, we as media buyers, we always need to be aware and adapting to this change as well. So let's start this off with a few analytics, shall we? Flurry Analytics, which is a company that's owned by Verizon, Horizon actually ran a poll and a survey just to see how many users in the United States as well as in around the world have actually opted in for tracking. Now, if you have a look here, up until May 8th, guys, only 5% of users in the United States have actually opted in for tracking. That means 95% of users has opted out. That causes a huge issue. And I've seen this in all my ad accounts, all of the retargeting audiences, all of that has just, something is just, a, a spanner has been thrown in. And it, it's kind of like, we had to draw back, cut back some spend as we try to figure this out. But this makes sense, right? 95% of people have opted out of tracking and therefore audience sizes have been affected and therefore quality and performance in our ad accounts have been affected as well. Now on a worldwide level, this has gone and increased to about 13%, right? 13% of people in the, in the whole world have actually opted in to being tracked on Facebook and um, these apps. It's just a big, big problem, guys. But it doesn't mean it's the end of the world. It's just Facebook will figure it out. You know, we have to understand that, you know, ad revenues um, for them is a huge, huge income source. There's billions of dollars on the table right now, and they are going to be working and trying to fix this as we speak. So the second thing that I've noticed after this whole iOS 14.5 update is that pretty much all breakdown analysis and also dy dynamic creative testing campaigns pretty much gone out the window. <laughs> if you have a look here on my screen, you can see here that we had a DCT campaign that we've been running for a little while now and we've spent about $17,000 and brought back in about just shy of 29,000, right? And this is top of funnel. So again, our break even ROAS is, you know, 1.2 for this brand. We, we were happy, we we're profitable on the front end. But the thing that I actually noticed is that when, you use, when you're using uh, dynamic creative testing, testing, right? You can do a breakdown analysis between which dynamic creative elements are working the best. Now, if I go ahead and select, you know, for example, um, like our images, right? And it's going to show you all of these images. The thing that really gets me is that if you have a look here, we've spent $17,000 and we've had 857 purchases at a 1.6 return. You can see usually before the prior, before the update, you can actually see which creatives were bringing those sales in. And I was wondering, oh, what happened here? Why am I not able to see this data? This is uh, data that's worth $17,000, right? It burns me. It really burns me because um, we now have lost this. And luckily it's not so bad because we did do an analysis right before the iOS 14 update. But just for you guys, you know, just wanted to show you and have full transparency of the fact that before you were able to say, okay, this creative here, which has spent $15,000 was obviously the best creative, right? And it will show you the amount of purchases, what the return on ad spend was. And it would just be clear as day of which creative was driving the most revenue, the most profits. After this iOS 14 update, none of that is possible anymore. You can't even see how much of the purchases, um, the, the dollar figures came from which creative, right? You can only see how much did we spend? What was the impression? All of that kinds of stuff. You can have like result rate of like the conversion rate based off this, but you know, the most important stuff, which is like cost per purchase, your return on ad spend, how many purchases came from each creative, those are not no longer visible. Now, 
If we were to go ahead, and this applies the same for your headlines, for your ad copies, your link URLs as well. It's um, the whole dynamic creative testing option of uh, your ad sets are going to be affected here, guys. So let me just show you another thing that is affected and that is your breakdowns. So this is another level of breakdown analysis that is affected. Now, if we go back and have a look and usually you can have a look at, okay, what age groups are usually buying? Are they male? Are they female? What are they, right? Now, if we go ahead and have a look at age and gender, you're going to see here, same thing occurs. 857 purchases and we cannot tell which group of people in the United States are driving these kinds of sales. So when we actually go to scale or when we actually go to build out new audiences, it's going to create more of a haze and it's going to be a little bit more difficult for us to figure out, okay, this is the audience, right? Before the update, all of this was clear. Now, Facebook is, I thought Facebook was working on it. I, I'm sure they are, but I just want to show you something really quickly. If we go here, right? How Apple's iOS 14 releases are going to affect your ads and reporting right here. No support for breakdowns for both app and web conversions, delivery and action breakdowns such as age, gender, region, placements will not be supported. So I don't know what that means, but for me personally, as a business owner and as a media buyer as well, this is a big problem. Pretty much all of our data, millions of dollars spent on the Facebook ad platform. If we didn't document it before, then pretty much right now, if I wanted to go back and get my team to have a look at it as well, we won't be able to see, okay, this is the most profitable audience for us unless we already determine that from prior data right so it's a bit of an issue but i'm sure that we will solve this i'm sure facebook is understanding the magnitude of this um but yeah i just wanted to show you guys exactly why uh how that's happening and another thing that i wanted to show you really quickly is if we go back here right and if we go to let's say for example i want to go to um like a retargeting right okay let's get rid of this breakdown and let's say, for example, I have in my retargeting audiences, um, I have this audience, the initiate checkouts for 180 days, excluding purchases for 180 days as well. If we go down to the custom audience size, here we go right here. The size of your website custom audiences may decrease because they may not include some people using iOS 14.5 or later devices. Little do they know that 95% of people actually opted out. So that's a huge chunk of audiences that have been affected here. So I just wanted to show you guys this. It's not the end of the world, but it is something to be aware of. Okay, so now that we understand exactly what's happened with the whole iOS 14.5 update, how it's affected our custom audiences, our retargeting audiences, all of that kinds of stuff, and how it's affected at my ad account, and I've shown you examples of that, I want to go through exactly what you should be doing right now to kind of help stabilize your business during these crazy times. If you guys haven't done already, and I really hope that you have done this, um, I've gone through it in this video of how to set up your whole Facebook ad account so that it's completely safe from this iOS 14 issues. If you haven't prioritize your web events, if you haven't verified your domain, if you haven't enabled your conversions API in your Shopify um, Facebook plugin, go ahead to this video right now. Make those changes as soon as possible. There are other few things that I want you guys to do. When you go to your events manager, right? And I'm gonna show you right now. Events manager, this is where you do your web events, right? And go into settings. Now go all the way down to here, advanced matching, and make sure your automatic advanced matching, guys, is enabled, right? This is where your conversions API will be enabled, but you know you can sh see it in your Shopify dashboard, and I've shown you in this video, um, but just make sure you do it. Uh, this is gonna give you the best chance possible where you know your pixel will be able to get as much data back as possible, even during these limiting times, right? Now, the next thing that you need to do is, if you're new, right? You have a brand new pixel, brand new ad account, brand new website, what you need to go ahead and do is you need to make sure you fire the add to cart, initiate checkout and purchase pixel events on your store. Now, what you need to do is get your pixel installed, first of all, right? Secondly, go and buy product, whatever your product is. Now, set the discount, um, set a discount code for 99% off and just buy the product. Go through the whole checkout process, go through the whole add to cart process and make sure that these are firing. Now, to make sure that your pixel is fully uh, set up properly, download the app 
uh, Facebook Pixel helper, right, on Google Chrome, and it'll make sure that it will show you that you know these things are firing, right? By going through and making those uh, this purchase on your store, you're going to be able to configure and prioritize your web events. The issue with the whole iOS 14 thing is that if someone has opted out, Facebook can only bring back one event, and that one event is based on your prioritizations. For us as e-commerce entrepreneurs and media buyers, we want to see the highest intent pixel event like purchase, add to cart, initiate checkout. We don't really care about view content or page view, e although it is important what we really want is out of those if we could only choose one purchase or initiate checkout we want to see how close does the customer get to actually making that purchase so go ahead and make sure you do that so you can actually prioritize your web events and again in this video I will show you how you set that up but for the next tip what you need to do is remember how I said that 95% of iOS users have actually opted out of being tracked. Now, what that means is that our audiences have significantly shrunk. I showed you, I showed you that in our ad account. What you need to do is if you have retargeting campaigns and ad sets set at three, seven, 14, 21 days, right? And if you have like lookalike audiences for those small windows, what I would actually recommend you to do is broaden out these custom audiences and start targeting them first. Because if you can understand, if 95% of people have actually opted out, those smaller audiences, Facebook is just not going to be able to find your ideal customer and purchase from those audience segments, right? To give Facebook as much power and much opportunity as possible to kind of help them out, right? You need to expand out these audiences. You need to give like 30, 60, 90, even 180 days. I'm testing all of these right now. Our 180 days actually performing the best. Now, these are all individual to you guys because your each of your products are individual and unique to your, your store. So you need to make sure you test this. But ideally, right now, it, it rings more true than ever. The larger the audience, the better that Facebook is going to perform, right? And that's the, you're gonna have more stability overall. So I'd recommend you do that right away. Now, the last, last thing that I would actually recommend you to do is to please 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 make sure you have an exit intent pop-up on your store when we run Facebook ads right we can drive traffic but if people jump off because of these retargeting issues right people opting out of being tracked our retargeting campaigns won't work as well so to kind of make it easier on us and to help our business and kind of protect ourselves we need to make sure that our offer that exit intent pop-up for example if people jump off uh, the site and say hey get 10% or 20% off your first order they throw in their email address right we want that because that's an intention of them that yes I want that discount and therefore we can actually target them and remarket to them on the back end away from Facebook away from Google all of these kinds of stuff on our own platforms on Klaviyo right on SMS right so make sure you guys do that because that's just going to make uh, enable yourself to get customers back because when they've opted in, there's a high chance that yes, they want that discount and they yes, they are interested in your product. So if you don't have that opt-in, you're gonna really, really struggle and you're gonna leave a lot of money on the table. With that all being said, just wanna preface and just let you guys know that you know this is all subject to change depending on when you're watching this. If you guys are watching this, you know, May 2021, it's very relevant. But in one year from now, who knows? Facebook might have fixed it, Apple might have brought out their own advertising platform, who knows, right? So just go ahead and make sure you take these and action these straight away. Now, um, on a last bonus tip, if you guys have had about a thousand plus purchases, to just focus on broad. Give Facebook the largest audience as possible to let their algorithm find you know, your customers. That's what we're doing. That's what we're focusing a lot of our advertising budget and I would recommend you guys do the same. So that's all the time that we have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that things are tough right now, but you know, things will get better. I guarantee it. I hope, I, I hope for my own sake as well. That's all the time that we have and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below how this whole iOS 14 thing has affected your business and let's talk about it. Let's just jump on and um, yeah, let's have a chat. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I'm going to be posting another video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Bye for now.